Hello perfect beauties, my name is Daisy and today I'm going to be talking about popping pimples and whether you should pop them or not, or why you should pop them, or why you shouldn't pop them. And I know there's a ton of YouTube channels out there like Dr. Sandra Lee's um, pimple popper video, but leave that to the experts because usually it's not a good idea to pop your pimple at home. What is the big deal of popping a pimple? Well, think of a pimple as a little sac that holds oil, debris, and acne bacteria. And so what we call the pustule is actually keeping the bacteria in your skin nice and contained. So when you puncture the pimple's outer skin, the gunk oozes out. Now if the bacteria contained in the gunk splatters, this is disgusting, and lands inside other pores, it can lead to more pimples. Ugh. And there's also another risk. So if you're gonna pick, 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 pick those pimples, you can force the debris and bacteria even deeper into your skin and also introduce new kinds of bacteria from your finger into the zit. That can cause the pimple to be more red, inflamed, swollen, and infected, and may even lead to permanent scarring, which you can buy the bandage kit for. <laughs> so maybe you should pop them so I stay in business, okay? So it's best to let the pimple run through its lifespan and just let it alone. And a blemish will usually heal itself in three to seven days if um, popped. And if you pop it badly, it can actually linger for weeks and lead to scarring. Okay, so now if you're gonna have to like pop a pimple, I would highly suggest going to a doctor or a dermatologist so that way they, you know, can do it in a sterile environment. So how do these um, dermatologists pop pimples? Well, first they wear gloves and they lance a pimple with the sterile needle and then they remove the contents with an instrument called a comodone extractor, which I have used in one of my blackhead videos. So if you really, 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 really want to pop your pimple, then here are some tips on how to do it. But again, highly suggest not doing this at home. So first, if you're going to pop your pimple, um, wait until the pimple has a firm white head, like when it's like really, really hard, you know what I mean? That means the puss is close to the surface and is ready to be drained, so don't do like a freshly new pimple. The second is to wash your hands thoroughly with warm water, soap, and a fingernail brush, so even underneath the fingernails, you can get bacteria in there. You're gonna sterilize a straight pin with a match or lighter, let the pin cool, then wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. Swab the zit with alcohol and then pour some on your fingers too. So you're, gonna put, you're gonna put alcohol everywhere, okay? Make sure not to have a fire nearby or else it might burn everything down. Um, dry your fingers and then wrap them with a clean tissue. Then take the pin and put it parallel to the surface of your skin and gently pierce at the very tip of the zit's white center. Then, using your fingers or a cotton swab, softly squeeze the pimple. So you're gonna press around, but not on the white tip itself. And if the puss doesn't come out easily, then girl, the pimple ain't ready, ready to be popped. Apply more alcohol, it may sting, or a very little bit amount of like a neosporin to ne the now deflated blemish. So if you don't wanna pop the pimple, you can also try these makeup tips. Try using a concealer that matches your skin tone or a foundation in a dry, not a creamy formula. So these de generally come in pots and sticks. And usually when you apply concealer, sometimes you will use your hands, or sorry, your fingers, but for pimples, use a flat brush with short bristles, so that way you can get the concealer right where you, like, where you need it on the pimple without leaving a fingerprint behind, and you can kind of do it around that like white tip of it. So I hope that helps. I mean, you know, just don't pop your pimple. Let it go, like the Frozen song. But if you must, I hope those tips helped you. I just think it's a lot more trouble than it's worth. And until next time, thank you all so much for watching the Acne channel where I post videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays about something relating to acne. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.